Morning, Henry. Morning. Um, any surprises there for you from Suella Braverman? No. I, I think, you know, that's what we expected from her. Um, she said she's forthright, she speaks her mind, and so there are very few surprises coming from Suella Braverman mm. um, with, in anything that she says. So, uh, you know, it's one of the nice things about Suella. You can see in a politician, cabinet minister, that um, you don't necessarily see in others. She does seem very straightforward, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. And she does seem like she has, a, as uh, Liam said then, you seem to have the stomach to pull out of the uh, ECHR, mm -hmm. but does Rishi Sunak? Do you think he does? Uh, I don't know, and this is one of the problems. The, the whole country, and in fact I suspect the government, would feel more confident if they knew where Rishi Sunak stood. You know, to be a leader, you have to have vision, you have to have initiative, you've got to have will, you've got to have determination, you've got to have courage. And none of those really are, are really understood. Well, At the moment, he's talking certain words, but he's not coming up with the full goods. And he hasn't yet. We haven't seen the deal on, on, on Northern Ireland. And we've still, you know, it's all very well and good coming out with five pro promises, including stopping the small boats. But legislation doesn't do that. Legis a, a law is a, effectively a piece of paper. It's an empowerment. But you've got to then enact operationally that empowerment. Mm. And I see nothing coming out of the government in that regard. Well, what they want to do now, of course, mm -hmm. is to clear some of the backlog. That would look good for mm -hmm. the figures, wouldn't it? And there are about 90,000 claims that were submitted. So this is only mm -hmm. until June 2022. It's the backlog up until then. We've still got nearly another year's worth of, of backlog waiting. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this idea? They want to rush through effectively via a questionnaire but without an interview uh, about 12,000 people from five particular countries. Those countries being Afghanistan, Eritrea, Syria, Yemen and Libya because ordinarily 95% of those will get the green light to stay. Good idea? No. Uh, it sends the wrong message, absolutely. It, it, it sends a message, and it will, be, it will be marketed this way by the people smugglers, that actually yeah. the UK, once you get there, you claim asylum, you have to fill out a form. The truth is irrelevant. The people smugglers can now market this as something to attract their business, uh, people to their business. Mm. But the other thing is that, you know, whilst it's... Firstly, it's going to be... It's ineffective. It's... it's it's a, it's a weakness in our national security. We don't know who these people are. And the forms, no doubt, are going to be filled out by charities working with the asylum seekers and so on. So the fact that it's got to be filled out in English, actually, that's no check. Yeah. That, what that is, it makes it easier for the Home Office and the Immigration Service to read the forms. They don't have to translate them. Um, so there's, you know, they're, they're, they're shortcutting this. And these are just going to, it's effectively a rubber stamping process. And what worries me here is that it's not even going to make a big impact on the backlog. At the moment, the backlog, all told, not yeah. just over the last 12 months, is 160,000. Wow. So what we need, this doesn't fix the problem. Mm. We need a new system. We need new structures to do it. And this, you know, Suala Brahman, I've got a great deal of respect for her. I like her. I like her approach. But she's dealing, she doesn't know precisely how to solve this. She's got leading a department that's not providing her with the, the, the imaginative solutions that she needs and doesn't have the drive that she needs for, for them to engage properly on it. What's needed is a fully comprehensive and properly integrated national strategy. That, and because we talk immigration, but all of the cocaine and heroin in this country is imported. There are other things coming across our borders that we need to stop. And we need a proper strategy to deal with it. The Home Office is not capable of producing it. So Alan Braverman is a politician. She doesn't know how to do it. But it has to be done, because otherwise all of this is, is, paper, uh, is papering over the cracks.